Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Webdyne Pro are back and now we will start with new topic how to display messages in Webdyne Pro ABAP, how to do the message handling in Webdyne Pro ABAP. Suppose if I will go for the application we developed, you can take any application, it is totally your wish. Suppose firstly we develop the basic application, then we develop the inbound and outbound plugs. In the previous exercise, we simply simply took the properties. So you can take any Webden Pro application, whatever we developed so far. Suppose I will run this Webden Pro application. Now I will simply log in. Yes, okay. Login is already there. Suppose I am not giving any sales order number and I am clicking on to submit button. You can see the blank details are coming. So if I'm not giving any sales order number and directly clicking on to submit button, there must be some error for the user that please pass the sales order number. Suppose I'm going for sales order number, but that sales order number is incorrect. And if I'm clicking on to submit button, so there must be some message for the user that you are passing a wrong sales order number. So our topic is how we can display the messages in Webdyne Pro ABAP. And same to say, we will go for two things. If user is not passing the sales order number, then we will give a message to the user that please pass the sales order number. And if user is giving the wrong sales order number, then we will display a message that please pass the right sales order number because messages plays a vital role for the end user. During core ABAP also, we covered the topic messages in module pool also. Yes, because messages are very important for the end user. Now it is totally your wish, whatever the web dentro application you want to take, I am taking the latest application in which we developed the, in which we implemented the various properties also. Suppose if I will go for our main view and I will go for the layout. Now you can see whenever user is clicking on the submit button, we all know we already have a action. So what is the name of the action? The name of the action is display. And we have an event handler method on action display. Whenever user is clicking on the submit button, this code is executing. And we are getting the value of sales order number into this particular variable. If this particular variable is blank, you all know how we can check blank. If this variable is initial, we will simply simply give the message now. If user is giving the wrong input, you all know after that we are simply simply calling the assistance class method. Whatever this input is, we are passing this to this assistance class method. It is checking into this VBAK table. If from this VBAK table, we are not getting anything. If Sai Sabarsi is other than zero, or this internal table is initial, we can simply simply able to know that this sales order number is incorrect. So we have two error messages. We will go for two error handling here. Firstly, if user is not giving the sales order number, we'll simply simply write if this particular LVVBELN is initial, we will give a error message. If user is giving the sales order number and we are calling the assistance class method after that in which we have the logic and if this query is giving the size sub RC other than zero, we will simply simply give the error message. So this is the way how we will do the two messages or how we will display the two messages. So what we will do, firstly, I will go to SC91 transaction code. You all know we can give a messages through message class. We should provide the messages into message class. And what is the transaction code for the same SC91? So I will go to SC91 transaction code. 
Now I will give some name to the message class. If you already have the existing message class, no problem. You can give messages there also. Suppose I will create a new one. ZWD underscore MSG. Suppose this message class is dedicated for web time pro messages. I will go for create. I will give that description. Web time pro message class. I will go to messages tab. Suppose I will save this as a local object. Now I will give two messages here. Firstly, please provide the order number. Now I will go for second message, order number. Suppose we will display the order number also. And you all know how you can pass the values to the message number through ampersand. Order number this is not correct. I will simply go for same. So I provided the two messages. One is triple zero and one is double zero one. Now I will go for our this particular in this message class. We provided the two messages. Before going for Webdyne Pro, I will go for one important point here because in Webdyne Pro, that thing will play a vital role. Whenever you are going for any messages, it always, always stores into T100 table, T100 table. This is the table in which all messages will store. Why I am showing this? Because in Webdyne Pro, this table will play a vital role. I will display this message. I will display this table. Sorry, this is the table. This is a table for the messages. If I will go for the contents. Suppose here I will give the name of the message class. What is the name of the message class? ZWD underscore MSG. Now, if I will simply go to execute. You can see. In this message class, we have two messages and this is the message text. So if someone asks you also that whenever you are creating messages, it stores into which table? The name of that table is 300. Why I am discussing here? Because whenever we will go for web 10 Pro ABAP and display this messages at that time, we will recognize with the help of T100 table. So generally, whenever you are creating any message class, any messages, it always, always stores into T100 table. Now I will go for Webdyne Pro app. I'll go for our Webdyne Pro application. This is our Webdyne Pro application. This is our own action display. I will go to change. So firstly, I will simply write if LV underscore VB ELN is initial. Is initial means is null or is blank. If this condition is true, we will simply, simply give the message. We will give the message here. Now, now after that, yes, if user is giving the sales order number, but it can be wrong sales order number. So what we will do that this assistance class method will execute and we will go to this method. I will go for this. Now here I will go to change mode. You all know if user is giving the wrong value of sales order number, this query will give the size sub RC other than zero or you can simply understand nothing will come into this internal table. If nothing will come into this internal table, this internal table will be blank. You all know how to check blank is initial. This if condition is not initial. It means else part will be is initial. So I will simply go for else part. Anyways, whenever I will explain in that debugging mode, this will make more more sense. If user is giving the wrong value of sales order number, this query will give the size sub RC other than zero. So this internal table will be initial. This logic, this if is for not initial. It means system will go to which part? Else part. 
and I will simply simply take a variable. Suppose my name of the variable is p flag. Suppose I am passing it to x. If the input is incorrect, this flag will be set to capital X. Now, this flag, this variable must be a exporting parameter. Otherwise, how we will understand that we are passing a wrong value of sales order number. So I will simply, simply take this as a exporting. You can take returning also, no problem, because you all know returning is always one from a class method. Suppose I will take it as returning so that it will make more, more sense. Suppose I'm saying, P flag, you cannot take more than one returning parameter. And we widely, widely use returning whenever we want to go for Boolean result, true or false, X or space. I will go for return. Suppose the type will be Boolean. You can go for char one also, no problem at all. Anyways, Boolean, this is a data element which has a domain or it is a domain length character one. You can simply take care one data element also, no problem. I will check the syntax and I will go for activate. Now I will go to back button. So into this particular method, yes, whenever we are going for wrong input of sales order number, this query will give the size of RC other than zero. And this flag will be capital X. Now we will go to our WebDen Pro component because this is assistance class. Now here, I will simply, simply go for writing the logic. If P flag, okay. Now here, here now you have exporting and importing. Now it is totally your wish. If you want to manually add returning, it's also okay. If you are not clearly that how I can add returning, suppose I will go for manual. Suppose I will write receiving here, receiving is here returning is called as receiving whenever we will go. Suppose I'm writing receiving, what is the name P flag and I'm declaring one variable in front of that. Suppose LV underscore flag, I will declare here now. Data LV underscore flag. What is the best way? Just double click and check the type. LV underscore flag must be of same type as that of P flag. So just double click and check. I, I will go for double click. You can see P flag is of type Boolean. So just copy. This is the best way to declare. Just always double click and check. LV underscore flag type boolean. I will apply pretty printer for proper indentation. Yes, it's properly indented. Now, now if you are not comfortable in this way, no problem. Suppose previously this was not there. I will simply remove. No problem. You can just Go for this pattern button again. Call this with the help of pattern again. A BAP object patterns. WD underscore assist. This is our assistance class. ZCL sales order. Z, Z assist sales order detail. I will call the method again. Get underscore data. I will go for OK. And you can see now we are getting this receiving. Just copy paste this part. And you can simply, simply go for other thing. I will remove this dot. And here I will write LV underscore flag. So it is totally your wish. Now I'm removing this part. So you can call through pattern. And many times people after certain years of experience, they can manually write also. That's not a problem. Now, if this P flag is returning X. It means P flag value will come to this LV underscore flag. So I will simply write if LV underscore flag is equal to X. In that case, we need to give the message. So we will give the messages in message in two scenario. First one, if your input is initial, 
and if you are giving a wrong input. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important thing, yes, many times yes, in the interview we ask, okay, how you did the message handling in Webdyne Pro app. So we started with messages in Webdyne Pro app app. So we took two things. First thing, if user is not giving the sales order number, we will provide the message. If user is giving the wrong input of sales order number, then we will provide the message. So as a part of that, what we did, we created a message class through SC91 transaction code. And we provided two messages into the message class. After that, I covered important part that whenever you are creating a message class, whenever you are providing messages, it always, always stores into T100 table. Why I covered this table? Because whenever now we will display the messages in next video, that particular T100 will play a vital role. After that, what we did in on action display method, I simply put a if condition if this LVVB ELN is initial. Anyways, we will give the message here. If that part we will do in the next video. Now, after that, if user is giving the input, but that input can be incorrect. So in the assistance class method, we already have the query to fetch the data from VBAK table. Then we will simply, simply, if it is a wrong input, psi sub RC will be other than zero. Nothing will be in this internal table. It means system will go to else part and this flag will set to X. Now I simply take it as returning because returning is the best, best way whenever you are returning any Boolean result, true or false. You can take exporting also, no problem. But for a particular class method, returning is always one. Now after that, you can manually write receiving or you can simply call through the pattern button again. In front of this, I declared one variable. If this flag is capital X, I will give the message. Now we will go for messages in the next video. We will provide the message here also. We will provide the message here also. And then we will understand each and everything in the debugging. So that's it in this video. Thank you.